Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video showing the RTX 3090 at stock versus overclock performance. Now I just want to quickly make a quick disclaimer here. Overclocking does have risks of damage in your hardware. If you so choose to use any settings that you see in this video, the risk is yours and a liability is with yourself. So just bear that in mind. Now I do want to quickly say as well that I'm using the RTX 3090 Asus Tough OC Edition. That has a 380 watt power limit, two 8 pin PCX Express power connectors. So um, people with, let's say, the Strix OC, um, Aorus Extreme, uh, maybe for the win, free from EVGA with three PCX Express um, 8 pin connectors, do you have a higher power limit and thus have higher overclocking potential? On, and technically should be able to maintain high clock speed. So the clock speeds you see as a maximum for me may not be your maximum. So don't, you know, don't feel that I've not pushed the car to its maximum. This is my maximum. Your maximum may be a bit higher than mine. So um, I'll just quickly show you the overclock sessions I'm going to be using. I just loaded my profile here. So I didn't use a uh, basic um, core clock increase, a memory increase. I actually done a custom fan curve for um my cooling so the more aggressive fan curve than stock also did a custom curve for the voltage and i'm using a 0 0.95 voltage as the maximum and then the maximum clock at that voltage is 2.025 gigahertz if the power limit allows for it most of the time it won't though because you're pretty close to 380 watt out of the box and i've increased the memory by actually I didn't save the profile correctly. I actually increased it by 300. So this is how it's going to be looking when I'm actually running the overclock. I did nothing to the core voltage. I increased the power limit, which is my maximum 107% and temperature limit to the max. That is it. So without further ado, I'm going to run five or so games and you can see the difference between running your card at stock and running your card at overclocked.